the way um, uh, Coach Judge and Coach Graham run their defense, uh, you know, obviously Coach Graham's defense, Judge head coach, obviously, um, as far as uh, um, guys are coming in and out. You're a guy who never leaves the field. There's a handful of guys who never leave the field, but there's a bunch of guys who've been in and out, Tate Crowder, guys at cornerback. Do you think, is that disconcerting to the defense, or do you think it helps keep people on their toes, knowing they can come in at any time, go out at any time? Yeah, I think uh, it just kind of goes to how Coach Graham runs his defense. He's able to get guys in positions to best suit what they're best at. And I think also for each guy to be on the sideline, they got to make sure they're um, ready to go at any time. Um, numerous situations where tempo could happen. Uh, they have to run on the field out of nowhere, get the call. Um, and so it just makes – it's one of those things that makes it difficult, but then it also helps them stay engaged in the game um, that much more. Um, and I think overall helps them when they do end up going into the game. It is kind of, um, I mean, it, it, it's more of a collective, isn't it? You know, instead of 10, 12 guys, it's maybe 15, 18 guys who all have to be ready almost at a moment's notice. Oh, yeah. And I think that's the, the best part about this team is that every single guy that has come in so far, um, it's a guy that you can trust and the guy that you know has put in the work each and every day uh, throughout the week um, and, and leading up throughout training camp to help us out when he does get into the game. Thank you. Hi, Leonard. Hey Blake, how, how difficult was getting through yesterday's game? You seem, you seem to be, you know, really hurting coming out of the game several times, but you only end up missing like six snaps. I mean, how much were you dealing with? No, I think it was one of those, uh, one of those games where you just get little things here and there. Um, and uh, they, they took me out, obviously, precautionary for the concussion situation, um, but quickly did the test, passed it, um, was able to come back in. But uh, it's just now today dealing with typical uh, end game soreness type things. Gotcha. And if, one more, if I may. Um, what, you know, what is your reaction? What was your reaction just to finally getting that result, getting that win? And... How much does it matter or not matter depending on what happens on Thursday? No, yeah, I think every single game uh, is important, especially to win them. Um, it's, it was a great feeling for us, obviously, putting in all the work we put in through the ramp-up period, um, through training camp, uh, the last five weeks leading into the, this last game, um, to be able to go out there and, and do what we knew we were capable of doing. Obviously, it wasn't pretty. Um, at all, uh, but we got the job done. And I think on top of that, it's it was a division win, um, and we got another one this week, and it's something that you can kind of have uh, that momentum going into this Thursday night game. Thanks. Dougie? Hey, Blake. Uh, you know, you obviously don't come off the field very often and, and being forced off. Does it bother you at all? Like, does, this, does the snap streak mean anything to you? Uh, I mean – not too too much. Obviously, you want to be a guy that never misses any any downs, any opportunities um, out there on the fields. Um, but I, I remember, I think last year we were up a lot, and I think the Raiders came and they took us out, and it was one of those moments where kind of at that point it was like, all right, we're, we're good. <laughs> I don't have to I don't have to worry about some crazy long snap streak uh, that certain guys have to deal with. Gotcha. Thanks, Tom Rock. Blake, you've been uh, teammates with Kyler for a while now. Uh, what have you thought about his play the last two weeks? He's uh, he's accounted for probably more touchdowns than anybody on the team in the last two games. No, yeah, he's – I mean, I, I knew uh, what type of player he was, and when he gets uh, those opportunities to shine, um, he's done it uh, throughout the now five years I've played with him. Um, he's been making plays left and right. There's been moments uh, where – he gets super close to certain plays um, since I've known him. Uh, and just these last two weeks, he's, he's finished uh, those plays and made huge plays for us uh, throughout uh, the last two weeks. Is this the highest level you've seen him play at? Or, or have you, has he gotten higher? And can he get higher? No, yeah, I think uh, sky's the limit with that guy. He's, I call him uh, Gumby. He's literally the – just everything he does, he somehow – it might not look pretty. It might not look finesse. It might not look whatever you kind of would think of as an outside linebacker playing playing football nowadays. But he he gets to the right spot. He's able to to make the plays, and he somehow just worms his way in there and and does what he does. That's a nickname that probably stick now. <laughs> yes, that's that's my nick. That's been my nickname for him all the time. Thanks, Blake. Yep. Well, 
we'll take three more. Zach, Tom, and Lombardo. Zach. Hey, Blake. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. Um, I was just wondering, you know, uh, Tay Crowder has been playing a lot the last three weeks. He's a guy that came in here, you know, with that Mr. Irrelevant tag, and a lot of times those yep. guys don't make it in the league. I'm just curious, like, what's it been like behind the scenes watching him work to get at the point where he is now, and then how cool was it seeing him get that touchdown yesterday? No, it's, it was an awesome moment. It's kind of one of those things where it's like a proud dad moment um, where throughout training camp and all that, he was like one of those rookies where doesn't say much, just goes to work every single day. Um, and once he's gotten that opportunity, it's been amazing to see him flourish out there and just feel so comfortable um, being able to make calls, make everything uh, simpler even for me um, out there. And it's, it's cool to see him obviously get that touchdown this last game, and I was, I was proud of him. Cool. Tom Canavan. Hey, Blake. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. When you play a Thursday night game after a Sunday game, how much of playing is a simple matter of mind over body? Because I assume you can't feel great. No, definitely. I think it's one of those things where um, you try to do as much as you possibly can to ramp up your recovery period throughout the, the three days we have. Um, but for the most part, it, like you said, it's, it's mind over matter type thing where you're going in knowing that you're going to have some soreness here and there. Um, but you just have to – you know the other team's going through the same thing. Um, so it's just going out there and, and playing the game at that point. Thank you. Yep. Last question here, Lombardo. Hey, Blake. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Good, good. So I'm not sure how much you've gotten to watch the Eagles and Carson Wentz yet, but I know you've, you've played against them in the past. Uh, Carson's been sacked like 25 times this year. I think he leads the league in turnovers. What's different this year or what hasn't been going well for them that might have been clicking in years past? No, yeah, I mean, I think the one thing that you see everywhere is that they've been going through a lot of injuries, um, a lot of a lot of kind of moving parts throughout the offense. Um, but overall, I think for him – uh, he's he's done an amazing job out there. You watch him on film. He's still doing the Carson Wentz things that you see um, nonstop. Obviously, last week almost led the the comeback um, against the Ravens. And so it's just little things here and there that I think um, they're trying to iron out with the new guys in the in the game. Um, but you can start seeing that they're getting their groove going. And for us, it's going to be a, a task that we we don't allow um, this Thursday to be that that game for them.